All right, so today we are going to talk about a brand new Instax product, the Instax Mini Link 2. But first, let me go get a coffee. I'm good now. All right, so we are going to talk about the brand new Instax product, the Instax Mini Link 2. But first, let's have a look at what comes in a box. All right, so we have a, an instruction manual to let you know how to use the printer. We also have a USB cable that's USB-A to USB micro so that we can charge the printer. And then we finally have the Mini Link 2. So that's what comes in a box. All right, so let's quickly talk about the printer itself and how it looks in the different buttons. So first of all, a very sleek design. Uh, we have the power button up in the front, which has an LED around it so that when it's open, we can see various colors on it. Then onto the side, we do have a micro USB port so that we can charge the printer. On the top, we do have a button which will activate the side LED, which will be used in the Instax Air feature, which we'll talk about in a few seconds. And then at the back, we do have the film latch here so that we can open it and then load in some film. Now the Mini Link 2 is available in three different colors. So we do have the clay white, which I have right now. There's also a space blue option and the last one, a soft pink. So now let's talk about the features of the printer. So it is a smartphone printer. So you'll be able to print images from your smartphone and even capture images from your smartphone directly from the app and then print them using the Instax Mini Link 2. So the first feature will be the simple print, which is where you just go into your camera roll and then you select an image. And then from there, you can apply filters, reframe it, rotate it, do various things to it, and then print your image. Now let's talk about the next feature, which is the big feature for this printer, which is the Instax Air. So there's a couple things you can do with it. So as I mentioned before, you can use the side LED onto the printer to draw or do some light paintings if you would using the printer itself. So you can select from various brushes if you would, you have bubbles, you have glitter or spray paint. And then again, you can just use the printer and then write things or make drawings using the printer itself. Now you will use the button on top of the printer to spray paint or, you know, draw onto your image. And the button is actually a two stage press, if you would. So you can press a little bit and it will do just a, a light line. And then if you fully press on it, it will be more defined as if you would, you know, push more into a spray can, for example. So that's a very neat feature. Now, if you wanted, you could also draw directly from your phone. So in the app, you would use your finger and then draw into the frame and then you can position your subject or yourself within the frame with your drawing. Now within that you have two modes so you can do a simple picture or you could do a movie which will record taking a picture. So I just drew my initials here FB and then with this feature you can actually embed a QR code that will link directly to the video of you making your, your image and then you will be able to access this little clip by just scanning the QR code. Now the Instax Mini Link 2 app also features fun modes like frame prints so you can add you know a frame around your image, uh, a little template. You can also do collage prints, which I really enjoy. You can put multiple images onto a single Instax print. You can also do some fun things like a match test. So you can have a picture of you and someone else and then see how good of a match you are. And then you need to actually print the image to see the results. So that's a fun little mode to play with. And then we also have the sketch, edit and print, which I really enjoy. Again, if you wanna make some business cards or just have a watermark with your signature at the bottom, it becomes sort of a sticker that you can apply. Or again, a lot of fun and creative things to do with the Instax Mini Link 2. Now the Instax Mini Link 2 app also features the rich and natural mode, which can be found in the settings of the app. And then you can choose if you want the rich mode, which gives more vibrant colors, more contrast and saturation, or if you want the natural mode, which will be more true to life, less saturated and less contrasty. So you can choose between them in the settings of the app. And then the Mini Link 2 is also compatible for direct print from the Fujifilm XS10. All you have to do is enter the SSID that is written under the printer and then enter it into your camera 
and then you're good to go. Now lastly, let's talk about motion control. So you can use the Mini Link 2 and then move it in various directions to make it do various things. So if you put it to the side like this, you'll get into the fun mode. And if you are into the Instax camera mode, if you tilt it forward and backwards, you'll be able to zoom in and zoom out uh, the camera. So very neat feature to have you know, motion control on the Mini Link 2. All right, so that wraps it up for this unboxing and look at the Instax Mini Link 2. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed this little device. Very easy and creative way to, you know, get your pictures out of your phone and then bring them to life. Uh, and yeah, uh, I'm just going to have a, a little print party. <laughs>